What's up? Today's story time. So you know that most of my content here is about my adventures while traveling. And although I try my best to show you the ups and downs of traveling, sometimes you just get to see the fun parts. And that's because traveling is usually very fun and exciting. I mean, you're exploring a new place, you're trying new food, but sometimes things don't go as planned. And the story that I'm telling you today is one of those days. And so without further ado, this was the day that I was interrogated for 11 hours by the Indian police. It was December 16 of 2018 and I had left IIT the day before I had finished my semester and so basically I was starting to travel across India for several months and that was my first day. I was in the south of India in a city called Madurai and I was so excited to go out and explore and make movies that I decided to wake up for sunrise. But as it happens a lot in India, uh, the smog was very heavy and so the light was not really good. And I decided to fly the drone to see if I could get a better perspective from the city because from the ground, it didn't look good. So I didn't care much and I just flew my drone above the river for about 10 minutes. And as I was flying the drone, some people were looking at my screen and so I actually showed them the images because I mean it's not every day that you can see your city from above so I was just trying to be kind and show them my images and as I was showing them the images one guy goes and says oh it's cheap yes but I just ignored the light was not good so I decided to bring the drone back and pack everything to go and explore the city but I was about to leave when the guy that said oh it's GPS put his hand on my shoulder and said what were you doing? I tried to make myself unaware of the situation and said something like oh it's just a toy but he didn't seem very happy and he actually asked for my passport and that's when I understood that I was in trouble. I asked why because he was not dressing as a police officer and like in the movies, he put his hand on his pocket and he took his badge and said, I work for the police and I had no choice. He took a photo of my passport and a photo of me. And at this point, I was very nervous because I didn't know what could happen from there. A few minutes later, I was being taken to the police office where some officers were already waiting for me. And as soon as I sat down, they started to ask me a thousand questions like, where are you from? What are you doing in India? Why do you have a drone with you? But nobody was actually taking notes, they were just asking. It was early morning and so while they were asking these questions, every policeman that was arriving to the office was taking photos of me, of my passport and of the drone. I was just super confused and all I could think was, why did I wake up for sunrise? I should have just slept longer, man. After all those questions, they asked me for the memory card of the drone, which I gave without problems because I had nothing to hide. It was just some clips from the river, that's it. So they watched the videos and they understood that I was telling the truth. It was just some random clips for my YouTube videos. But as they were discussing what to do with me in their local language, Tamil, uh, I noticed that they turned on the ceiling fan because it's always very hot in the south of India. And as they turned on the fan, the SD card that was in the table fell to the ground. And I was actually the only one who noticed that. So I just picked the card and put it in my pocket and hoped that they would forget about those images. I mean, there was nothing wrong with those images. I have no idea why I did that, actually. So after probably three hours in the office, they made me write a letter apologizing for my mistake. And I was like, that was easier than I thought, but yeah, fine, let's write that letter. I just wrote the letter and apologized for my mistake and I was about to leave the office when one of the policemen said, where's the SD card? And at that moment, I don't know why, but I didn't have the courage to tell the truth. So I just said, I don't know, you probably lost it. It's very small. They didn't accept that answer and they started searching the entire office. They were moving tables and furniture and I was like, what did I do? <sighs> Obviously it didn't take long until they checked my pockets. And they were they were so mad that I can't even describe. I just thought I fucked up everything. So after that they took me on a motorbike to check my hotel room, which was totally fine because I had nothing to hide. 
after probably 10 minutes searching, they didn't find anything interesting besides my laptop. So they just took it and we went back to the police office. It was probably 10 or 11 a.m. when they asked me if I had had breakfast. And I said no, because remember, I had woken up for sunrise and so I didn't have time to have breakfast. So they actually brought me some dosa and some chai, which was super good. But at this point I was so confused and I just wondered, why are they so friendly? But obviously I didn't complain, I just ate the dosa. After that they took me to a proper investigation room with a big Indian flag in the background. There was a small desk in the center with a very old computer and there were probably 10 police officers properly dressed up. I'm not gonna lie, I was nervous, but I tried to convey the impression that I was calm because they were being friendly to me. And so they started with the same questions, but this time every police officer was taking notes on a sheet of paper. And they were writing my answers, but without any order, just random words on a sheet of paper. And I just remember to think, you're not going to understand a word from that paper, but hey, it's not my problem. As they were asking me all these questions, a guy was actually checking my wallet and taking photos of every card. And I remember to ask him not to take photos of my credit cards because then he could use those numbers to make purchases online. It was difficult, but I convinced him not to take those photos. Meanwhile, he also found my IIT card, which helped a lot because now I was not a total foreigner. I was an IIT student and if you're from India, you know that being an IIT student is a big deal. After probably two hours of absurd questions, they told me what was going to happen. I wouldn't get a fee, which was good, but my drone would be confiscated and I would need to go back to IIT to get the help of my supervisor to get the drone back. It was not the perfect plan, but hey, it was not bad. Like I would get my drone back, hopefully, so I just agreed. It was probably 2 p.m. already and I thought I was done, but they offered me lunch, so I said, yeah, sure, let's have lunch. They brought me a huge pile of rice, a big banana leaf, in probably eight or ten small bags with sambar and dal which is very traditional from south india and they actually explained me how to eat they said you put the sambar on the rice and then you eat with your hand police officer's words not mine so i just ate with my hand and it was delicious again i was super confused they were being so friendly one of them even took a selfie with me and i was i was just like what a strange day <laughs> After lunch, I thought I would be able to leave, but no, they took me back to the interrogation room where all the police officers were new and they actually started with the same questions like, what's your name? What are you doing in India? Where are you from? And I was like, what's going on? I thought we had a deal, but I tried to remain as calm as possible. At some point, a senior police officer came and he was really mad at me. He shouted for probably 10 minutes and then before leaving, he told two guys to check all my social media accounts like my Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, YouTube. Again, this was December 2018. I had posted my IIT video just 10 days before and at that time it was exploding. I was getting hundreds of messages every day. My YouTube channel was finally growing. So I was really afraid that they made me delete the video. But guess what? They didn't care, they, they checked all my social media, they saw the video and they didn't care, they just ignored and continued with the investigation. I was so relieved. <laughs> While they were searching my computer, they found a random Excel sheet from a project I did back in IIT. And guess what, that sheet mentioned the Indian Army. It took me probably 20 minutes to explain to them that it was just a college project and that I had no connections with the Indian Army whatsoever. And at that point, I was not nervous anymore. I just wanted to go to my hotel room with or without my drone. It was already like 5 p.m. when a really nice officer came and started asking me all these questions about my own country. So I just tried to get into the conversation to see if he could help me to get out of there. After some talk, he told me that I had to write another letter and that he would tell me what to write. So he just started, Sir, my name is Bernardo Callao and I come from Portugal. I've been studying in IIT and I just described what happened. After explaining the situation, he just said, after this query, I'm going back to my hotel room with all my equipment. I didn't say a word, obviously, but I just thought 11 hours of interrogation and now you just let me go like this? <laughs> okay. I finished the letter, 
gave it to them and then finally, after 11 hours, they just let me go. I said Nandri, which means thank you, and every police officer smiled. And then the same guy that said, oh, it's GPS in the morning, took me back to my hotel room on his motorbike. And then I just sat there for the rest of the day thinking about what happened. So thank you so much to the police of Madurai for being so kind to me. I didn't want to cause trouble and so if you want to avoid situations like this, just respect the local law. In case you're wondering, the drone laws in India are pretty straightforward right now. If you're an Indian, you need to apply to get a permit to fly there. If you're a foreigner, there is no easy way to fly, unfortunately. So to everyone that is watching this, if you can help me to get a permit to fly in India, that would be awesome because I'm actually planning to go back there sometime next year and I really want to show you that country from above. So if you can help me, just send me an email and we'll discuss from there. Just comment below what you think about drone laws in general because sometimes it's so difficult to fly and most people just want to get beautiful shots from above so just let me know what you think so yeah that's it for today thanks for watching i'll see you soon bye bye